Today on Mechanically Inclined, we will be replacing this cracked toilet with a Mansfield toilet. This toilet is a very simple toilet. You only need three tools according to the box, but we're going to find out if that's actually true after we flush out the tank and shut off the water. You want to make sure that you drain out the water either with a shop vac or with a sponge before you move the toilet, otherwise you'll spill it all over the place. Gloves are optional when touching those nuts, but in my opinion, when removing this wax ring, gloves are a necessity. No secrets here, it's a dirty, messy job. You have to get most of this out of the way, but not completely all of it. Yes, you want to remove this extra plastic reinforced ring here because the new one that the toilet comes with is going to bring its own. In the box, there is also a whisper closed toilet seat and the tank. Now this flange was actually installed the wrong way, but we're still going to be able to make it work with these two little notches on the side. It's just going to be a little bit more difficult. After positioning the toilet bolt supplied in the wax ring kit, you can either use the wax ring on the flange or you can stick it to the bottom of the toilet like I did here. Lift your toilet up, set it down over the bolt holes, and then you're going to want to sit down on the toilet. Once you feel the toilet is set firmly in place you're ready to screw on your bolts this one has uh, three components a washer a plastic and a nut now we did run into a little bit of a hiccup here one of the toilet seat bolts broke while i was screwing it in place i think i just got a bad one out of the factory which means i had to redo the installation with a new wax ring and new bolts now these bolts i picked up were a little bit heavier duty and they have a little retaining clip here that makes it a little bit easier to set the toilet in place they're not going to move around on you but they are too long and you're going to have to cut them when you're done now here's a trick i forgot to show the first first time around, you can use a piece of masking tape and a magic marker in order to help yourself line the toilet up as you're dropping it down. If you have two people, you're not really going to need this. And if you're experienced, you're not going to need this. Now we're going to go ahead and set this new extra large wax ring on, and we're going to go ahead and drop this bad boy down for the second time. And now it is round two for the nuts and bolts. We're going to go ahead and get this thing set in place. And once it's tightened down, I need to cut the bolt a little bit shorter. Then I can put my cap on, remove my tape, and we're ready to install the tank. You have a gasket here and a three bolt system. Once the tank is in position, you will drop these three bolts through the back of the tank. On the underside, you want to do these two nuts first, tightening them evenly by hand, and then you can use a socket or a wrench to tighten them the rest of the way. Ensure that your tank is level before tightening the last and third one. Then you can hook up your water supply line and your toilet seat. Check your water level inside of the toilet. Make sure that it's not overflowing in the overflow tube. If you have water leaking out of this gasket here, you may need to tighten down the bolts a little bit more. Give it a test flush and you have the option to put a bead of caulk around the end. If you want to see my caulk, you have to hit the follow button.